Welcome back guys. In our previous video, we were able to import users through a CSV file upload, but we didn't do too much of a validation. We were expecting that all the information coming from the CSV file is correct. But now what we are going to do is add quite a bit of logic into the you know import functionality to make it a complete feature. So let's go into our code this is our blade file and so we were doing a select and you know, importing users but now we need to handle the code but now we need to handle the validation so let's see inside http controllers it was where was it sorry about that php and we are in admin controller fine so inside admin controller correct so we are doing the validation if it fails we show the errors otherwise we were straight away taking the data and making a you know user insert but now what we are going to do is create a service class which is going to handle all the logic all the business logic will go there so let's create inside user a class called user import okay and my namespace will be app services slash user All right and my class name is user import okay that's all right and what i will do is why don't we just user import we will just inject it so that we don't need to new up the instance and do things like that anyway so yeah so first thing is we won't need this obviously but how do we want to first shape up our class which is this so let's say we will have few variables one is dollar users uh, let's say it's an array i'll keep it for all the users which um i'll, I'll basically try and add the correct users let's see and then we will have dollar valid i'm assuming that all the data by default is true valid data okay if i find error i will make it false protected dollar error rows empty and protected dollar valid rows let's see uh, that will be empty as well all right now first function which i will add in here is let's say check import data okay check import data i'll take the header dollar header and the rows let's make it rows and dollar header okay and let's have a blank emails field and then we will iterate through our rows array okay so for each dollar rows now we wanted the header so that we can do this you know we have already done this once so i'll just copy and paste it we need the row with the proper um uh, key and value which is you know the header will the email will become the key and the email's value will become the actual email address okay and now first thing which we will do is check for current correct email okay so i'll have this as an internal function and i'll say if not dollar this check valid email dollar row email i'll do something so first add this method okay 
if not then what so the first thing is in that row I'm going to assign a message okay which will be let's say invalid email okay my errors row will have this sorry okay so basically the error row will have the row with the message key as well okay and we'll have to set this and we will have to set this valid equals false because we got an error okay now time to check you know write the function for check valid email this is going to be a simple thing if not dollar so filter if I filter underscore where dollar email okay filter underscore what was it validate email yeah okay if not this we return false okay so check valid email this will return false otherwise we return true okay so what happens if i get a false that it is not a valid check valid emails it's false so i add this data to another row or else what i do is dollar emails equals dollar row email okay this is something which i will require uh, for a where in query because i'll also need to check in the users table whether the you know the user in the csv is already existing or not okay so that's what we are going to check next and so we have the email emails array ready for us so we'll check exist okay equals let's say this uh, make it a function check user exist and we will send the emails array okay so let's create that method okay uh, this is a private function check user exist so this is going to be a simple query which is return user wherein email dollar emails get oops and then pluck email and let's just convert it to array okay a lot of things are happening here so what we are doing let's reiterate we are going to make a where in clause here okay where in email in this so this is an array okay and then we get all the records we pluck only the email we convert it into an array and we return it back so this is my exist variable okay so what if i get so the condition is if count exist is greater than zero which means there are few users in the database which is in the csv as well so i'll first i will do this validate equals false you know, it can happen that you know this is uh you know, clear you know all the emails were correct but then I got an email address which exists so I'll do this as false and then there's a tricky thing which is I'm just checking the uh, through the inquiry whether the user exists or not but I need to add a message to that particular user's row that this user exists so for that I'll need to play around with the rows again so dollar this uh, let's say add user exist error message this is my exist array i'll take the header i'll take the rows okay and yeah let's add that method as well so what is this going to do 